Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Special. Uh, wait, what? Man, I must have loaded up the wrong game. What the heck is this? There's robots? What is this? It's like a Skyrim mod? I don't under. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Didn't you just ask me this? Oh, God, what was even Avery's voice? <laughs> I was not ready to jump straight away into dialogue. Not quite yet. Okay, no rush, but the sooner the followers can learn about Mr. House's technology, the better. Yeah, well, you already found your way inside here, so I don't know what you're so antsy about. Uh, okay, you get the joke. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout New Vegas and all of its DLCs. Uh, basically, I'll keep this short. Long story short, I wanted to take a break with, the, with some Skyrim. I've been really wanting to play Skyrim for a while now, and I was like, you know what? Let's just take a break and do it. I usually don't take breaks in between series. Uh, and then, or, you know, I, that's when I, you know what I mean. I don't stop a series and then do something else, but that's what we did this time around with some Skyrim. Uh, long story short, a lot more people watched it than I thought they were going to, and it was during a time where the better you're doing on YouTube, it's very, very, very good in terms of paying your taxes and being able to pay your bills. And I was like, well, I'm really enjoying this. People seem to be really enjoying this. So we went on longer than I originally thought with uh, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition on Legendary Difficulty with our boy Grogon. Um, so yeah, it's been a long, long time since we've recorded Fallout New Vegas. A long, long time. And I'm, that's, it's kind of part of it too, is that this is, this has been the hardest series to kind of plan for, given that it's 100% and this game is so easy to like ruin different quests and quest lines. And so it was like, oh god, I'm, I'm gonna, wanna, you know, I've, I've gotta prepare so much when we go back into it. But I was like, you know, this week I was like, well, I really want to get back into it. We're so close to episode 100, and... I just want to see my boy Avery again. Now, I have no idea what his voice was. I totally forgot. Um, and I also don't know where the hell we are. I did look at my last video. I did look at my notes, the master file. So I have somewhat of an idea. But, yeah, I don't know. We're going to do our best and jump back into the series and probably go to episode 100. I mean, we're right there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with episode 100 just yet, but... Nevertheless, point is, welcome back to the series. Sorry to all the people that were super duper invested in this series and were wondering what the heck happened. Um, yeah, just really wanted to play Skyrim and then the series took off in a way that I didn't expect it to. I'm gonna take, uh, take a drink of some water. Anyways, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I have no idea where to start, I'm gonna be real with you. Um, I did take a look at the last episode and yeah, I was dealing with Benny. So first of all, let's take a look at our quests and get some stock into where we are. We've got the moon comes over the tower, which is what that person just talked to me about. Bug an access point to the Lucky 38's data network for the followers of the apocalypse, which I do think we'll do, and I don't think it goes against anything else. Uh, this one we cannot do. Wild card ace in the hole. Apparently, if we even start this, it's going to do bad things. So I am not going to start this. Search Benny's room in the tops for clues. I know what that means. Do you? If not, we'll play the game and you know do it yourself. It's a very, very interesting thing in this game. Render unto Kaisar, or Caesar. Travel to Cottonwood Cove and take the barge up the river to the fort. I kind of want to do this one and hope that it doesn't ruin things, but I'm not entirely sure. How little we know. Talk to Kachino about suspicious Omerta activities. Perhaps someone else in Gamora knows how to find him. There's something with this. I think we have to wait on this one specifically. There's something with this quest here that we're going to have to not do. As far as I understand. And then we have Oh My Papa. Find Regis evidence that Caesar will annihilate the Great Cons. Hopefully this is not bugged and hopefully we can do that in Caesar's camp. The Legend of the Star, we need 50 Sunset Star Sarsaparilla Bottle Caps. I think we have about, like, 20 or so. The House Always Wins, working for Mr. House. Uh, the Reunion is DLC, and Midnight Science Fiction Feature is also DLC. So, I think we're gonna start... Oh, boy, this is so sensitive. This controller playing on... Playing with Fallout New Vegas. I think... We're going to start with this. The moon comes over the tower. Bug an access point to the Lucky 38's data network for the followers of the apocalypse. I know that this is not that crazy of a quest. Now, what the heck? I, I am so out of it with this playthrough right now. I'm going to have to really <laughs> understand what the heck's going on. Uh, so we have the park ranger hat, the combat armor reinforced mark two. That's very low on condition. And the authority glasses, that's also very low on condition. Park ranger hat's doing all right. As far as weapons... Let's take a look at our heart, our our hot key, and can I like 
see what that stuff... Wait, if we go out of here, can I, like, hold there on the... Yes, we got a silence 22 pistol. Lucky, right. Chance's knife. Stim pack. 84 stim packs. Thump thump. The hollow rifle. And frag grenades. Man, speaking of the hollow rifle, I've, I've... Like, so many people like this gun, but I've gotten some very vitriolic comments in the past talking about how this gun is bad. I don't know what people are smoking. In my research, this is known as, like, the best energy weapon in the game. Don't really yeah. understand. Anyways, forgive me. I know people are like, get into the game, but, you know, it's been a long, long time since we recorded this. So, this one was inevitable to have a very long intro. Nevertheless, let's do it. High roller suite. High roller suite. Let's go back to the casino. And casino I. Casino floor. Yeah, casino floor. Thanks so much, Victor. <laughs> yeah, boy. Um, God, I don't remember how to do Avery's voice whatsoever. I'm much more proud of Grogon's voice in the Skyrim series. I think I'm. I think I do a pretty good work voice. I'm, you know, I'm, it's it's a hard voice to do, so I'm proud of it. Uh, with Avery, I don't know. We might change it all together. I was never really like totally solid on it. Nevertheless, I think we have to go over here. I did remember it being on the casino floor. Oh, that's why this uh, terminal is here. That would make sense. Okay, we're gonna save over a new save, and we're gonna hack into this terminal, or at least try to do so. Lucky 38 access point. Bug the Lucky 38 network. I think we'll do this. We're friends of the followers of the apocalypse. We've done a lot for them. So we'll do that. And we get 65 XP. Return to Emily Ortel on the New Vegas Strip of the news that the tower has been bugged. Don't mind if I do. Thought I was going to get some fall damage. Bear with me as we break back into the series, ladies and gents. Because obviously, I am a little lost. So if I make mistakes or say false things, just bear with me. And to everybody that was super into the series, super invested, uh, welcome back. Thanks so much for watching the series. I know it's not as popular as some other stuff, especially Skyrim. I mean, Skyrim's the big boy for my channel usually. But, yeah, um, I, I don't know. I, I definitely want to jump back in. I've been wanting to for a while now. So, uh, we, yeah, it's, I'm sure there pe were people thinking that I was just going to, like, drop it. Uh, no, that was never the plan. Never ever. Anyways, hi. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Okay, let's try to make a, an Avery voice that's better than... I, I don't even remember what I landed. Because we started with, like, the Arthur Morgan, like, I bugged the tower for you. But that's kind of funny. People didn't really like it. Um, I bugged the tower. I, I think we ended up doing, like, a, just a deep voice, right? I bugged the tower for you. Good to hear. But it looks like the bug was deactivated a few minutes after it went online. It looks like House has some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on his network. We'll get through eventually. Just not today. Here are those medical supplies I promised. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. Thanks. Liked. Enough news of your good works have been passed around that people like you. Well, that's fantastic. I want to be liked. It's kind of necessary for my job. <laughs> almost too much. <laughs> it's almost too much pressure sometimes. <laughs> I hurt myself today. What? What are you talking about? God, everybody just screaming all the time on the strip. Oh my god, we move so slow. <laughs> Coming from Skyrim to this, we have like no sprint button. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do, the other thing that's in the master file to do, you know, to make sure we do it, is uh, in the Tops Casino. Hey, hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Uh, yeah, I don't remember how many... We definitely have holdout weapons, right? Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Maybe don't, like, um, I don't know, hint at your clientele that there's weapons that they can pick up everywhere? That's kind of weird. Goodbye. Have a good time, baby. I think I could do better with the Avery voice, especially doing Grogon's voice for so long. Um, that's not a, that's not the best Grogon's voice, but you get the picture. Nevertheless, there's a thing that we Hello? can do in the Tops Casino. I don't remember exactly where it is. I have done this quest before, and we're gonna try to find it naturally. Ace's Theater. I think that's where it is. Do you not even have a name, lady? You're just named the Tops Cashier, Cashier, Cat Cashier. I don't even know how to say that for real now. Uh, anyways, that kind of sucks. You deserve a name. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Here's the Aces Theater. I think this is where we want to go. 
But the question is, who do we want to talk to? How about Tommy Torini? Hey, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the finest entertainment experience in New Vegas. My name is Tommy Torini, and how can I make your day? Hi, Tommy Torini. Let's see, tell me about this theater. What do you do here, goodbye? Tell me about this theater. Well, it was my idea. Well, me and the rest of the Rad Pack boys. We took it to Benny, and he thought it was a good idea. A few years later, here we are. The best show in New Vegas. Hey, uh, I know we've talked a lot and we haven't gotten into much of the gameplay, but I want to post something near the start of the episode so that everybody watching will be compelled to leave a comment before it gets too late and people are going to drop off of the video. <sighs> I'm thinking, and I think I might have already made a tweet by the time this video goes up, because uh, at this point in time I'm going to make a tweet when this video ends, uh, when this recording ends. I'm thinking once New Vegas and Skyrim concludes, whatever I want to do. With New Vegas, obviously, we're going to 100% it, so it's going to take a while. But I, hopefully we're over the hump. I don't really know. I'm just trying to have fun with it. But uh, And then when Skyrim concludes with, with whatever we want to do with that, I'm thinking of just saying, let's go total variety. It's worked out for me on Twitch. Uh, honestly, with stuff like Subnautica and Dark Souls 3, it just stands out. I clearly have, like, so much fun with it. It's so effortless to make videos. Kind of want to just, you know, I've, I've done this gig for so long. I kind of want to just break the shackles of, like, feeling that I can only do Elder Scrolls and Fallout. Uh, and just go, hey, let's just do all variety, man. Whatever I feel like doing. And uh, hopefully people will stick with me. Now, I want to know straight up. And don't feel bad about being honest. Like, how many people are actually going to stick with it? Are going to want to watch that sort of thing? Like, any videos, basically, if I find a new game interesting, hey, let's do it. If I find, you know, I want to do an Isaac run, let's do it. If I want to do a new indie game, if I want to do another, you know, Subnautica or Crafter, like uh, The Long Dark, let's do it. How many people would actually stick around and watch? And, and be honest. Because if you're not being honest, if you're just being nice, if you're saying, hey, GV, I'll watch any. Thing, but then you unsubscribe when that time comes that that's doing the opposite of helping me so just want to gauge the comment section of this video uh and and ask you know how many people would actually stick around and and even be excited for like a total variety channel instead of just rpgs elder scrolls and fallout let me know and if you would leave let me know too i just want honesty because that's the only metric that's going to help me out okay so leave a comment if you have an opinion and if not that's all right too what do you think about Benny? Benny? Uh, he's an alright cat, you dig? He don't got much musical talent, but he knows how to run a business. When he's around, anyways. Yeah, I hear you. Any idea where he goes when he disappears like that? Well, now, you didn't hear this from Tommy, but Benny likes to go off on a bender now and then. Usually he's only gone a couple of days, but this last time, nobody saw him for almost a month. Ask me? I think he's got a dame from Gamora, holed up in a suite, because nobody ever saw him leave it. Interesting. Also, we're super close to level 43. What do you do here? Well, apart from serving as a talent manager, show schedule, and all-around man in charge of this fine theater, I happen to be its headline act. Every night from 8 till midnight, come on by to see the Rad Pack review live, only right here at the Aces Theater. If you didn't know what the Rad Pack was a reference to, by the way, it's the Rat Pack, which was like, uh, this, this, this whole entire game has super duper overt references to Vegas, obviously, and the Rat Pack. But uh, I'm not too knowledgeable about it, but it was, oh god, I'm going to forget all their names now. It's, you know all the, Sammy Davis Jr., right, and uh, 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 Frank Sinatra, and like two other people. Uh, it, it's, yeah, they were the Rat Pack, and, uh, you know, legendary singers and whatever. Um, you know, my grandpa talked a lot about them. But I'm a little bit too young to know too much about it, but that's what that's referencing. Really? What kind of entertainment do you have? Well, acts are a bit thin on the ground right now, but every night from 8 to midnight, we got the Rad Pack review. Songs, dancing, jokes, we got it all. Maybe I could help you find some more acts for your show. Sure, baby, sure. Tommy's always looking for new talent to bring to the Aces. Tell you what, you see any good acts while you're out wandering, give them my card. If they work out, I'll give you a 3% cut of the door. Just swing back by as you recruit folks. I'll get you your bread. Make it 5%, you got a deal. Ooh, a shop customer. All right, all right, 5% it is. 5% is so cheap. We got four Tommy Torini's business cards. Oh, it's an actual quest. For some reason, I thought this was like a miscellaneous type thing. What other entertainment is there on the strip? Now, why would you want to go breaking Tommy's heart asking a question like that? 
Here I run the finest entertainment venue in all New Vegas, and you're asking me, what else is there? Nothing close to what we got here at the tops, that's for sure. Hey, you're right about that. You got an eye patch and everything. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. It's cool, baby. Tommy's a forgiving fella. Goodbye. Take it easy, baby. Yeah, I think I gelled right back into Avery's How's voice. Uh, I'm going to utilize what I do in the Skyrim series, and I'm going to, like, make a save and come back and get a thumbnail. That's a good idea, and that, that'll make a good thumbnail right there. Now, what's interesting about this quest is I thought there was only going to be, like, four. Or I thought there was going to be one guy, but apparently there's four. Find entertainers for the tops, four remaining. Do we have quest markers? We have one at least. I know... Oh, man, I'm holding LB to sprint. <laughs> that is just not what happens in this game. I, that's that's going to take some getting used to, uh, going from Skyrim to going to this. God, the slow turnaround. Just let me look at Avery. He's such a badass. And, uh, yeah, as usual, I absolutely hate when they take all my stuff off of my hotkeys and then I gotta hotkey him again. That sucks, but oh well. Uh, yeah, looks like we've got a whole bunch of quest markers. Now, I knew of one, and I think we can go and get one, like, ASAP, but where's this? Novak? Ah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I, I knew of two, actually. I was thinking of two people that we would be able to... Initially, before starting this quest, I thought it was one person. Uh, and it, I think it was this person here. So we're going to start with them. And this might be blocked off from over here. So I'm going to warp to El Dorado Gas and Service. And if we see any hostiles, we're going to have to hotkey our weapons again. Because it's been a while. It's been a while since I've gone and hotkeyed my weapons just like I always did. I think that's the exact lyrics to that, uh, what is it, Stained? Is that a Stained song? Anyways, yeah, we need to go get uh, four people. Uh, wait, which one's closest? I feel like I passed it. I think I did pass it. Which which map marker in the bottom left down there? Okay, there's a better way to figure this out. Oh, man, he's way up there. Good thing I didn't turn around. That would be a waste of time. Oh, boy! Uh, like punching in a dream, it can turn into a nightmare. Do you know that song? Does anybody know that song? God, there's so many, like... So many big, um, I don't even know what genre that is. You know, those electric genres, there's like a hundred thousand of them. The songs just like, they were so big and then they, they're just gone. And nobody ever thinks of them ever again. Like that's, that's indicative of that particular genre. You know what I mean? It's going to be three people that'll be like, Hey, I still listen to that song all the time. Hey, it was a great song. I actually really like that one out of all those other, uh, I don't know, dub steppy type. You know what I'm talking about. Whatever that genre is. There's like it's a million different names for all those genres. Hi. Howdy there, partner. So here's the lonesome drifter. We've already talked to this guy, but we let him, you know, we, we, we let we left him to his business because I realized, or somebody told me, because uh, it was a live episode, that we needed to uh, save him for the for this particular quest. Tommy Terrini at the tops is looking for musical acts if you're interested. Hmm, maybe it's time to give these tired old bones a rest. All right, show me what you've got. So we got four cards. In fact, I want to check the card too. Give you a real opportunity to have a, ooh. Okay, I would say, you know, I don't like Avery being kind of like a, a, a swindler. We'll just say instead it's more like his charisma makes people want to give him extra stuff. I'm giving you a real opportunity here. How about some compensation? I suppose it's only right you get a little something for your troubles. Here, my daddy left me this gun. Guess I don't need it no more. Oh, jeez, that's what you're going to give me? Wow, the mysterious Magnum. Oh, man. I thought, uh, okay, there's our level up. Oh boy, what the hell were we doing? Obviously, we're gonna max out everything because we have all the DLCs installed, which severely increase your... God, you know, this is so fun. I I need to be switching up my recordings, like, more often. Because, you know, th yeah, man, this is the right idea. Holy crap, I'm having so much fun jumping back into this. I I cannot stick with something like we did with, like, Oblivion. It, it really, really dulls the enjoyment for me if I just stick with it nonstop. I need to be taking breaks and then coming back to different series. That's the way to do it. Yeah, I, I like, I'm so pumped to get into this now. Um, you know, after doing, like, Skyrim for, like, 56 episodes straight. And before this for, like, you know, 80-whatever episodes straight. You know what I mean? 81 episodes. Anyways, uh, we're going to max out everything because we have the DLCs. So... Uh, what do we want to work on? Explosives is there. Medicine is there. Melee weapons is there. Sneak, survival, and unarmed. I am going to keep survival at 80. We were doing it for roleplay reasons, but screw the roleplay reasons. We're going to say that Avery, I don't know, picked up some 
interest in learning about medicine because he thought it'd help him survive longer, right? Because medicine's actually going to have a, a good impact on what we need to do here. The medicine skill determines how many hit points you replenish upon using a stim pack and the effectiveness of Radex and right away. Yes, no, yes, please. Boop. And no perk. So a perk next episode. Or next level, I should say. Uh, alrighty. So yeah, we got the Mysterious Magnum, which is on my list of unique weapons we need to make sure to get. So that one can be lopped off. Where is it? What? Items. He gave me the mis What? He gave me the Mysterious Magnum, did he not? But yet, there's nothing here. What? What the heck? I swear to God, he did give it to me. Didn't it say he gave me the Mysterious Magnum plus Magnum rounds? He definitely did. I know, like, I'm out of the loop here because it's been a while since I gone and played this game just like I was... But seriously, what? Weapons? Oh, what? It wasn't... Oh. I swear to God, it wasn't scrolling down previously. Anyways, here it is, the Mysterious Magnum. Now, I think... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put that where Lucky was. Let's get our holler rifle in case we need it, too. Uh, the Mysterious Magnum is neat as hell. Yeah, check that out. It's too cool, man. This game just had so much fun with itself, and that is just the, the bee's knees. So every time you equip this thing... Oh, I love it. I freaking love it. Oh, I love the sound cue so much. Uh, so now it's ours. We didn't even have to kill the guy. Sweet. All right. This is probably... We're not going to get too many questing things done, but, you know, hopefully me obviously having fun jumping back into New Vegas is going to make up for it. I think that's all that matters, right? People want to listen to you have fun. If you don't get any questing shit done, hey, hey, as long as you had fun and as long as you could tell by, you know, it's in my voice... Or you could just think I'm lying and trying to manipulate you too, but I, I'm telling you, it's I'm so hyped to get back into this. Um, yeah, I think it's okay, right? Uh, obviously, if you if you get nothing done and you're kind of slogging through an episode, well, then people are going to be a lot less inclined to enjoy the episode. Nevertheless, I do remember this person here. Wait, not the... Oh, this isn't who I was thinking of. Who is this? Oh, uh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you, you don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Who the heck is this? I was thinking of somebody else. Bruce Isaac. No, I don't. What makes you think that? Sorry, it's just, you look like his type, you know? You got that hard-ass wasteland explorer thing going on. Well, thanks. Um, who's Mr. Is Mr. Bishop from Fallout 2? I forget when Fallout 2 takes place versus this game. Why would this Mr. Bishop be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop, well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just take it off his hands. You robbed a casino, boss? Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Also, I might have, uh, sort of plowed his daughter. A little. <laughs> I love this voice actor, by the way. We, he was voicing the previous guy as well. Um, I don't know who it is, but uh, yeah, he does a great job. You really don't know when to quit, do you? I guess I don't. That's why I'm here. I'll let you know if I find any work for a singer. You do that? Great. I really appreciate that. Now, I swear there was a Mr. Bishop in Fallout 2, I feel like, but I'm not sure if that's who he's talking about. I, I don't remember if they if they take place near the same time period. Aren't you that singer from New Reno? I think I saw you play the clubs there. Oh, so you have heard of me. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I was the big draw at the Shark Club. People used to pay hundreds of caps to see me. If you're looking for work as a singer, Tommy Torini at the Tops is hiring. Really? The Tops, huh? Well, it's no shark club, but I hear security on the strip is real tight. Even Mr. Bishop wouldn't hit a joint like that. I'll check it out. Thanks. Yeah, it actually works out a lot, doesn't it? Oh, I need to check the business card. Okay. Why did you come all the way out here from New Reno? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. He knows the wasteland like the back of his hand, and he likes to wander it. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down like a dog. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. See you later. Yeah, I swear to God. Because, yeah, you can go to New Reno. Oh, man. 
For any Fallout 1 and 2 fans out there, just imagine being able to play... Oh, man, he's just doing all sorts of drugs, isn't he? Reading glasses. Any, anything interesting here at all? Like, any unique stuff? Well, yeah, we've, we're... Man, we've been getting all the unique stuff. That is something I've been totally on top of in this playthrough. Um, totally on tops of, like, the tops casino. Get it? <laughs> Uh, I want to take a look at the uh, the business cards. I guess it doesn't matter because they're just going to be like in the miscellaneous thing here, I think. Uh, looks like it's alphabetically ordered, right? So M, 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 E, F, G, H, I, J, K, M, Q, R, uh, Mark of Caesar. Where would they? Uh, who cares? If they're not in data, then it doesn't really matter. Uh, okay, let's try to finish this quest before this episode ends since I've been rambling like crazy. God, gotta get used to all these. Talk to Tim. Talk. No, we're gonna find all the people. So that's back at the tops. Oh. Oh, they're like in the strip itself, I guess. Okay, so the strip north gate, right? Oh yeah, check this out. Free side. There's somebody in free side. Who would that be? God, it's been a long time since I've, since I've ever done this quest. That's for sure. Okay, let's head into free side. Hopefully the the map told me to go to the right place. Sometimes it's just like, hey, go here, but then go here, then go here, then go here. I'm trying to, don't you do it. Don't you, leave him alone. Oh boy. Woo! Yeah, we get it. Thank you. I love this. Yeah, we're definitely gonna utilize a magnet. Oh man, I love that weapon! Ah! So cool! Uh, imagine, to all the Fallout 1 and 2 fans, imagine a Fallout New Vegas follow-up by Obsidian using the Skyrim engine, or, you know, the creation engine, whatever, or uh, ideally the new Starfield... Can be found in Starfield slash Elder Scrolls 6, whatever they're doing with that. Like, imagine, imagine that set... Wait, what was I going to say? No, I had a good idea. Gosh darn it. What was I going to say? It was going to be, you know, Fallout, obviously. But, you know, a follow-up. It was going to be... Uh, I was going to have a good... Ah, oh, darn it. It's gone. Anyway, well, you know what I mean. Just a follow-up with Obsidian producing, just like New Vegas, but like a new a new one. Uh, that, would, that would be... Oh, man. That would be so fun. Because, you know, as I'm older now, I just realized how much fun they had with this game. And they did such a good job just with not... You know, with this Magnum. <laughs> And then you do your business, and then you shoot all the bad guys. You get blue, 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 and then you go. So sick. So it would just be amazing. Because because I think Obsidian has a lot more fun than Bethesda does. Bethesda's focus on the bottom line a little bit more, I think. Especially these days. <laughs> What's up? Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Oh, I get it. You're supposed to be a comedian. Whoa, why the hostility? Come on, stay in character. You're supposed to be heckling me. Why bother? You're embarrassing yourself enough as it is. Hey, not bad. Your timing's terrible and you got no style. But you might make it as a professional heckler. Thanks, but that's not why I'm here. What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. So you perform stand-up comedy, huh? Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Judging from the economic state of Freeside, they can't be paying you that much. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Yeah, not with that attitude. Tommy Torini is hiring new acts at the tops. I think you can make good money. Too bad I got this ironclad contract with the Garretts. They'll never let me out of it. I could talk to Garrett and try to convince him to let you go. Huh. <sighs> Good luck. Garrett's a tough, mean son of a bitch. He's not likely to give up. Let me know if you make any headway. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Goodbye. Yeah, go on. Scram. That's exactly what I intend to do, sir. But I will be coming straight on back. I hear Benny got force-fed a little slice of heaven. Man, what I would have paid to see that loathsome little weasel eat it. It was a beautiful sight. I spoke with Julie Farkas. She says the followers will accept your offer. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. 
Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here, but honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung-out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. Yeah, that's fantastic. Anyways, I'd like to get Hadrian out of his contract. Now, why would I want to do that? His performances make me quite a lot of money. Because I have a hundred speech and barter. He's not the right fit for this place. You'll find better performers. I suppose you've got a point. Plenty of Brahmin on the prairie and all that. Fine, I'll cut him loose. He's all yours. Bye. People are talking, buddy. People You'll are talking, talking about people. Any luck with Garrett yet? Garrett's agreed to let you out of your contract. You can get to work at the tops. Really? You mean I'm finally out of this shithole? That's great. Thank you. No worries. Tommy Torini's business card removed. Where are those business cards? If they're not a miscellaneous, where would they be? So it says to talk to Tommy, but we ain't done yet. We got one more person to find, and it looks like they are on the strip somewhere. We're gonna fast travel to the strip north gate, which I think is like literally... Yeah, we were right over there, right? I always forget. I've, I've walked over here 1,800,000 times, and still I don't remember where. what's where. How silly is that? Now, I do not know who the last person is. Clearly, like I said, they're on the strip somewhere. I don't know. And also, I don't know if there's a follow-up to that quest right there. Um, I feel like there's not. It's such a fast quest to do. Oh, this guy. Hey, come on, pal. I'm trying to put on a show here. You're welcome. I just have a few questions. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. Who are you? The name's Knight. Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you. Oi. Oh, you're a comedian too. But we're standing on a street corner in the middle of nowhere. That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point! <laughs> I don't remember this NPC whatsoever. Tommy Doridi at the tops is hiring entertainers. I can put in a word for you. Yeah? Hey, you're all right. Tell him I'll do it for a hundred a night. No, 50. No, 20. 10. Just don't rob me. I'll do it. Okay. Don't sell yourself short. You're worth a lot more than that. Whoa, geez. What was I thinking? You're right. I gotta go in there with a cool head. Tell them how much I'm really worth. Tommy Torini's business card room, and he is heading straight over there. Talk to Tommy Torini at the tops. Completed fine entertainers. Now, I want to double check. It did say four, obviously, but I just want to make sure. Uh, it says to talk to Tommy four times. We'll do exactly that. I'm also going to wait an hour just so that Billy Knight's interaction hopefully gets finished and we don't get a bug here. Has this, has this playthrough been buggy? I don't remember. Uh, Skyrim has been crazy buggy. It's not even funny. Although we've, it's been a while since we've had a bug. A big old bug. Hey, hey, fellow. Well yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the deal. And this ain't my first time at the Dops Casino, pal, all right? Man, what are we going to do in the next episode? I was hoping that this these quests would, you know, last the entire episode, which they did. But next, I'm scared because there's so many big things that we got to do. And I, I, I hope it doesn't ruin anything. I, I'm following the master file and it shouldn't, but... Well, well, well. If it ain't the best love cat on the strip in my theater, what could Tommy do for you, baby? Hey, Tommy! Let's talk about the acts I recruited. The cowboy act? Yeah. He dropped on in here not too long before you. He's got chops, baby, real chops. And I ain't just talking about that mustache. And like we agreed, here's your fee. Five percent of the cut comes to 166 caps. Don't spend them all in one place now, unless it's right here. That is uh, achievement lock talent pool. Ooh. Gets its own achievement, really? Uh, that is not a lot of caps whatsoever. Let's talk about the ex I recruited. You talking about Mr. Isaac? Damn, baby, when you bring them in, you bring them in. That cat's gonna bring me money like you wouldn't believe. Here's your 5%, baby. You enjoy that. And we're getting strip fame each time. 250, so more for Isaac. Oh, yeah, because he's the, he's the big cheese. Let's talk about the ex I recruited. That comedian, you mean? Yeah. He was a hell of a haggler. Cost me a pretty cap. Hope he's worth it. Here's your 5%. 
Is that even going to give us more? 150, not so much. And then who was the last person? Uh, the, uh, is it Hadrian? I don't know which one was supposed to be the comedian he just talked about. Let's talk about the uh, That ugly mug with the razor tongue? <laughs> Take it, baby. He'll be one hell of a novelty act, just like Tommy promised. Here's your 5%. Calling somebody a novelty just because of how they look. Kind of dark. 210 bottle caps. Sounds great. You know it, baby. That's that, I guess. Take it easy, baby. You too, especially with that eye patch. Liked. Enough news of your good works have been passed around that people like you. Well, that is fantastic. Some would even say, that's... Hey. Straight aces, baby. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. This is where we're going to call it an episode. I'm not sure how long we'll go. Uh, you know, we're so close to episode 100. We might just do that. I don't know. Um, these days, like I said, I've done this gig long enough to where I just want to do what's fun. Uh, I'm not going to worry so much about, hey, let's do one thing until it's over. Nah, man. You got to have fun. That's where the, that's where the you know, ease of doing this gig comes from. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll maybe, we'll, you know, we'll record at least to episode 100. Uh, it's been a while since we've done New Vegas. Nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you'd like to go okay. above and beyond and support this channel, consider becoming a patron at the end of the video there. Uh, those are all the patrons, the beautiful patrons. The beautiful patrons. The beautiful patrons. Um, uh, but, yeah, you get a bunch of perks and yada, yada, yada. And thanks so much to the current patrons. And I will see you all tomorrow for more Fallout New Vegas. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, JV. Thank you so much for watching that episode. If you'd like to watch more of my content, I stream all the time on Twitch. Link and schedule is in the description below. If you'd like to go the extra mile to support me and what I do, consider becoming a patron. You get all sorts of perks and stuff. Thanks so much for watching again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.